That is called Alley. Alley Cats, the name of that song. Alley Cats? Song. Alley Cats? Yeah. I love that. Right. Hello, everyone. Hello, Welcome everybody. Welcome to Wake Up Missoula. I'm Noelle McFoy. And I'm Scott Ramp. And this is Asaph Adonai. He's playing our piano. He's our little house band. Yeah. <laughs> he, he is the band. Mm-hmm. You are the band. You're the entire band. <laughs> yeah, I'm very humbled by that. I'm glad to do this. Yeah, thing. we love it. For me. Yeah. Yep. Thanks, Asaph. It's awesome. <laughs> well, good morning, everyone. I hope you have all had a past couple days. I know you missed us yesterday, um, but we're back this morning. And we've got a lot of things to talk about. We've got a lot of art. We've got events. We have a mags. We're finally showing Celtic Fest on Epcot. So that's good. We'll we'll give you a little taste of Celtic Fest. But Mm -hmm. first, I want to talk about... um, Oh. Oh. Well, (laughs) our channel change. I'll start off with our channel change. Our channel change. Let's see. Hopefully, everyone has caught on that we are now channel 189 and 190. Yes. So we have started that as of... Last week, right? Uh, yeah, last Tuesday. So yeah. this it's is our second week. week. Yeah. It's been two. It's been a whole week since we changed our mm-hmm. channel. And I also want to talk about First Friday. Oh so yeah. Oh cool. Tracy Prey is going to be doing First Friday, and he's our artist. And also, I'm going to scroll on down to Aristotle, spiritual composer and musician in concert. Sweet. So she's going to be playing piano here in MCAT. Nice. In the studio, while um, Tracy Prey is going to be in the the art gallery, and that's going to be this Friday. At MCAT from 5 till 8. Yeah, yeah. Are you guys going to have free wine? Yes, we will have wine. Get and hors d'oeuvres. And hors d'oeuvres. Hors d'oeuvres. Ah, and also, if you're hungrier, come down to Taco, because I'll be rolling burritos <laughs> that night downtown. Yeah. Also, I want to talk about, an, uh, uh, let's see, a contest that anybody can do, mm-hmm. as in you can see from right here on our poster. It's called the Do It In 72, and I'm going to show you a little website. Yeah. It's a little busy poster that says, shoot for the prize, $500, and you can get more information at MCAT.org, which you're on right now. So <laughs> I'll explain <laughs> it to you um, very clearly that um, this event's happening on October 10th, so you're going to he- hear me talk about this until October 10th. Okay, so it starts October 10th. At 5 p.m. Okay. Starts October 10th, 5 p.m. When is the deadline? The deadline, okay, so the contest is that you have 72 hours to make a film starting... F- that Friday, October 10th, at 5 p.m., and you, so you have those 72 hours to make the movie that has certain elements that we won't tell you until the day of, oh. and you need, either you need, last year we did, like, you need, like, the number 72 in it, and of course, probably this year, you probably need another number 72, just yeah. to kind of show that we're doing the 72, and also, um, the following, and, and 72 hours later, which is the Monday at 5 p.m., so you have mon- until from Friday at 5 p.m. October 10th until October 13th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, yeah. Yeah, something like that. 13th, Monday, that following Monday at 5 p.m. Yeah. And it's, the top price is $500, so it's, you have 72 you hours. Rent and some bills. Yeah. Or you go shopping. I'd probably go shopping. Yeah, you know who, who can make $500 <laughs> in 72 hours? Yeah. Strippers. Yeah. You can do this and not feel bad about yourself. Yeah. And you, it, it's like you, you get to make a movie and you get to accomplish something as well. Yeah. But Sweet. What I also want to talk about is our new our playlist time. on our MCAT um, YouTube channel. MCAT um, YouTube channel has an art on view channel, which shows all the art. And if I, if you can go to it oh, real yeah, quick, sorry. you scroll through and we have over 55 art videos of Missoula in the past four, four or plus years. And it's just growing even more, and I have an example I'm going to show you in a, in a few seconds, and it's it's a little bit of jazz, Ooh. old old school jazz pictures from back in the day. Nice. But, yep, here, check it out.
And that's a little taste of what cool. we did in the past um, in terms yeah. of, you know, art museum. And we still do this to this day. We show all the art that's going on in Missoula and all that stuff. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, that was we, really cool. I like that music. Yeah, and you that can... That music was really neat. <laughs> it's yeah. not really jazzy, but it was... Uh, it's neat. I thought it was really cool. Yeah, but for right now, we are going to um, tell you guys about the weather. In so, a couple seconds, just yeah, hold on. It's, it's I'm nice just trying to reload outside. the webcam, and I want to take a look at our outdoors. This is what it looks like outside currently at our 15 frame per second amazing webcam and I'm just going to close it out before anything happens and I'm going to show you the weather and it's currently 56 degrees outside and it's going to 40% chance of showers today. It's supposed to be high of 60 yeah. so just, not too warm today. So like I said earlier earlier this week there is a higher percent chance of rain happening today than it was on the Monday in which I told you it was about 20 or 30% mm -hmm. but then on Thursday is going to be patchy fog. Thursday night's going to be mostly clear. Friday, it's going to be great. Yeah, this whole, it's going to have a beautiful weekend. We're going to have a great weekend, it's finally. Sunny, 70s, 80s all this weekend, so yeah. that ought to be nice. It was, yeah, it's going to be pretty rainy. Yeah, it'll it be, was, rainy. It's been rainy um, yes. every weekend before. Like, the mm -hmm. last three weekends, it kind of, like, a little yeah. rained a bit. But it, but hopefully the weather's going to be uh, nice to us. <laughs> and I think it should be. I'm very excited for it. Yeah. yeah. Sounds good to me. Yep. Well... Up next, we have got... Well, I want to um, end my segment by mm -hmm. talking uh, a little more about Meg's. Sure. So, I want to... Let's see. Um, uh, let me figure... So, Meg's is Media Assisted Grants, where you can... If you have a, a non-profit organization or if you have an event or anything like that, you can hire us to... And we'll give you free 20 hours free of filming your event and, you know, set up, closing, everything. Yeah, yep. 20 hours free. So if you want something like that, you can give us a call. What's up? Our number is 542-6228, and Actually. you can email us at mcat at mcat.org, and that's our general inbox. Mm -hmm. And you can also go to our website and find us as well. Uh, yeah, so the max so, that we're about to show you guys is from Celtic Fest, yep. which was like a month ago. Month and a half ago. So you can just as easily fill out the form by going to our MCAT.org, Forms, Media Assistant Grant. You click on it, and you fill out, you read the instructions, all about what MCAT is, and then you put, fill out all your stuff in here as well. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then, yeah, the more yeah. information you give us, the better chance to do a program. Your program comes out top. Yeah. Top dog. One of the best programs ever. 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 So here's a little bit of Celtic Festival. It's going to be on um, tonight at 5 p.m., and it'll be on exactly one week after that as well. That'll be part two. But here's a little, two, here's a little taste of what you can expect from tonight's Celtic Fest. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Celtic Festival! We are the Gothard Sisters. We were here last year and had such a great time we had to come back. So, now it's time to start out the evening's entertainment. Are you ready for the show to start? Alright, here we go! To inform you of one beauty But asking you a favor Not to sneak her for a while Doc, what's up? Mark, it's MCAT When you see MCAT channel 711 Change the channels 189 to 190 You're gonna see some serious Doc, are you telling me That MCAT channel 711 Is gonna be channel 189 and 190 Precisely that's heavy. Great, Scott! Ah. Yep. <laughs> we'll go back. back. You're getting pretty uh, I know. trigger happy. I'm a little trigger happy today. <laughs> I totally am. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, no, that's the segment we'll do later. Yeah, I have so a hallmark or bull mark later. Up, but yeah. first, we're going to talk about yeah, a little thing nice. called events, which okay. are happening in Missoula. And All since the there time. is no... Um, 
out to lunch and dinner I in the park, know, yeah. there's not much to do anymore. Well, actually, there's a lot of stuff. There is. Still. Yeah, there's a ton of Please stuff. Please tell us more, Noelle McAvoy. Okay. <laughs> well, thanks, Scott Rapp. Hey. I will. Okay. So, Wednesday events. Today, um, every Wednesday at 7.30 a.m. is the weekly sit meditation. So, obviously, if this event is past due. But it's for a future, you know. If you want to go next Wednesday, you can find it out. It's a learning center at Red Willow. Wednesdays from 7.30 to 8.15 a.m. Um, this is $35, and it's for four weeks, but it's an ongoing class. So you can always just pay $8 to drop in. And, yeah, it's just for your mornings once a week. Um, previous meditation experience would be helpful, but it's not like required. Yeah, so that's at Learning Center at Red Willow. Um, today at the University of Montana at 2 p.m., there's a lecture series called 50 Years of Wilderness and Still Struggling. Mm -hmm. It's a two-part series discussing the past 50 years of history regarding the nation's regarding uh, management and the nations in Montana's wilderness heritage and its influence over politics. And look forward on MCAT, too, because it'll be on in the next month or two. Oh, really? MCAT's going to be down filming it. Perfect. Nice. Yeah, so you'll be able to check this out in the next couple months. So the Wilderness Act um, was designated in several areas of Montana when passed and into law and signed by President Johnson in 1964. And so ever since then, the efforts to designate new wilderness in Montana has um, been strained by the state's... Eco economy and politics, yeah. So this is going to be a lecture series all about that. It'll be at the university at 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. um, there's some after-school programs going on. There's an after-school Aikido program for young people. This is at Aikido Missoula, um, down on Main Street above the Union. It's at 4 p.m. It's for ages 7 to 14. Orientation for new students is today from, um, yeah, at 4. And then classes meet Tuesdays and Thursdays from 4.15 to 5.15. So, and if those of you that don't know what Aikido is, Aikido is like a non-combative um, martial arts that helps you center yourself and be in touch with one as well as, you know, like, kicking kick butt. Yeah, pretty sweet. It's on Main Street um, above the Union Hall. There is a performance arts classes at the MCT for performance arts um, after school program. It's at 4 p.m. And what they're going to do is Tom Sawyer. And so they have obviously like adapted a little different version of Tom Sawyer. And they're looking for people that want to come and do it. Um, so they're going to need Tom, Huck, Becky, and, you know, a bunch of little Mark Twain's adventures. It's after school on Monday, Wednesday, Tuesday, or Thursday from 4 to 6. Um, all kids are participating in an audition, are cast in a role, and perform in the show. Yep. The performances are, let's see. Oh, I'm sorry. So the class is September 3rd and 4th through October 12th. Um, and then the performances are October 11th at 3 and 5 p.m. And Sunday, October 12th at 3 and 5 p.m. Yep, so yeah. they have a whole month to get all their rehearsals together and then they perform it the next month. Yeah. That's usually even how the, some of the adult plays do. They only have like six or seven weeks to That's put not it together. Long. Not at all. Yeah, you have to do a lot of work. Yeah. In that time. Ugh. Well, uh, at the Missoula Public Library today at 4 p.m. is Middle School Writers. This is every Wednesday between four, from 4 to 5. It's in the boardroom. It's for writers between um, grades 6 and 9, and it's where you can get feedback on your writing, and they'll feed you chocolate, too. So that's kind of nice. Yeah, hopefully it's good feedback, because I've been... Have you been there and they were mean to you? No, <laughs> just kidding. Uh -oh. I was like, you, you just are awful. Yeah, it's just terrible. <laughs> this is just terrible. Are Why is really, it terrible? I, I, I just can't explain really it. Are you really in seventh grade? I mean, come on. <laughs> That'd be awful. <laughs> <laughs> Let's spit on it. <laughs> yeah. That's so mean. Throw it, I know. Uh, That's true, but you know. Thank God we're not writing teachers. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not a writing teacher. Yeah, me too. Because <laughs> the, the kids would probably end up teaching me. Yeah. Because <laughs> I don't talk no good. You wouldn't get hired. No. 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 Mm -hmm. Well, uh, there's a community unite uh, kettle side at the kettle side North House North Side Tap Room today. It's at 5 p.m. and what they do is they donate 50 cents from each beer to the organization of the night. And so the Great Burn Study Group is their organization tonight. So go on down to the kettle house and drink to the community, and give back. I'm still um. Well, drinking beer. I'm sure I'm still totally down to have a beer week. So we, the, you know, like the um, organizations that sponsor nonprofits. Yeah. Then we, hey, nonprofit, nonprofit. Uh, yeah, yeah. We have a beer week here at Ooh. Wake Up Missoula. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be fun. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> there um, is um, 
Today at 6.30 p.m. there's a NAMI Missoula family to family class. Um, I didn't, it didn't have where it, where it was located, but it's got a number for it. And um, what it is, is a 12 week free education for families and friends of people living with serious mental illness. It's Wednesday evenings from 6.30 to 9, beginning today, September 3rd. So call 542-0236 to register. That's 542-0236 to register. Mm -hmm. So just in case you want to check that out, and then you can find out where it is and go to it. And it's free, so that sounds yeah. pretty good. Um, at 7 p.m. at Rocky Mountain Map Gallery, there's Exploring Montana's Pioneer Mountains. So it is um, Leroy Friel, which is a longtime Montana resident, will be giving a free slide presentation about a lifetime spent exploring the trails, cross country routes, and lakes of East and West Pioneers. Um, he just wrote a new book, Exploring Montana's Pioneer Mountains, and that'll be available for purchase at the event. That sounds fun. Check that out. Yeah. Top Hat Lounge Night at 7 p.m. There is a jazz night. It's for free as a Kimberly Carlson Jazz Trio. So if you're looking for some jazz and to chill the night, go check that out. Uh, there is a Nez Pierce NHT revision of comprehensive plan. Wow. Yeah, I know. So that's a mouthful. It's totally a mouthful. It's at 7 p.m. at Traveler's Rest State Park. Um, in September and October, the U.S. Forest Service Nez Pierce um, National Historic Trail staff will host a number of public meetings across the length of the NPNHT. These meetings will focus on obtaining specific input and, pro and comments on proposed objective practices, program guidelines, and will result in a revision of the comprehension plan. So if you have some ideas or want to give some feedback or some comments, I urge you to go. So 7 p.m. at Traveler's Rest State Park. It's in Lolo. It's on Highway 12. So it's at 6717 Highway 12, West Lolo, Montana. So that's not too far away if you want to do that. Uh, there's a Brains on Broadway trivia today at 7 p.m. at the Broadway. It's free to play. There's a $50 bar tab to the winners, plus all-you-can-eat wings. Uh, they have 10 $2 dumpling pizzas, $10 two-topping pizzas, and six domestic beer, $6 domestic beers and $7 Blue Moon pitchers. So it sounds like everyone's a winner there. <laughs> <laughs> Is that nice and cheesy for you? <laughs> oh, man. So at the Broadway, um, there, yeah, that was at the Broadway. Now here's Trivial Beer Suit at the Press Box. It's at 8.30 p.m. today. Um, and, yeah, just play trivia. It's at 8.30. It's $75 for first prize, $25 for second prize, and swag for third prize. And if they say that you don't want to lose, you could probably recruit an optional team. That means you can have double teams. I don't know if that's even legal, but try it out. So game starts at 8.30, and categories can be checked out on the Facebook page, Trivial Beer Suit, if you're really interested. So that's what's going on on Wednesday. Up next, we've got Thursday events. There is UM Children's Dance, 3.30 p.m. tomorrow at the University of Montana. It's children's dance classes for ages three and a half years old to 10. It's on Thursdays beginning September 4th, um, and it's once a week and the end December 4th. Beginning September 4th and December 4th. Okay, call 243-2849 for more information on that. In McCormick Park, there is a thing called K-9 Kids. It's at 4 p.m., and it's for your child and your family pet moving. So guest speakers will include animal control, agility trainers, and groomers, and they'll promote physical activity and positive pet ownership. So you, there can only be one dog per child. There are a minimum of four participants, maximum of 10, so space is limited. And you have to bring up-to-date proof rape of uh, rabies vaccinations, and dogs have to behave well in groups and with other dogs and people. So you can't have a sassy dogs. They also have to be leashed at all times. And children must be able to control the dog with minimum help from adults. So that's September 4th to the 25th. Um, and also October 2nd to the 23rd. It'll meet Thursdays, 4 p.m. 4 to 5. And it's for ages 8 and up. $24 and then $20 with the city card. So if you're interested in that, get on down to McCormick Park tomorrow and check it out. Uh, there is a, an art show at the University of Montana at 4 p.m. tomorrow by Tyler Krasowski and Jason Sobotka. 
And it's at Seriously, Serious, and Seriously is what it's called. And it's combining their mastery of printmaking and multimedia techniques to deliver aspects of their own provocative humor and colorful imaginations. So the reception is September 4th tomorrow, 4 p.m. to 6 p.m., probably at the University Art Gallery. So I check that out if you're interested in some local art. There is a Bear Bait dance workshop with Rachel Oliver at 5.30 p.m. at the University of Montana. Um, she's going to lead this contemporary modern class to all modern dancers. And yeah, it's just a class work, modern cla dance class workshop It'll be at the university. It's um, supposed to help you deal with and like strengthen your momentum and your endurance and your flexibility. So check that out. There is a ooh, North Side versus West Side softball showdown tomorrow at 5.30 on the North Side Park. On the North Side. Um, there's <laughs> You can pregame with Drought Works and Brewing, Brewing Company in the Wild Weenie at 5.30 p.m. And then the first pitch will be by Mayor Engen at 7. And uh, there's kids games and family activities are available. And so 15 players from each neighborhood will meet on the North Side Field and try to take home the coveted Railroader Trophy, which, you know, oh, gets, whoever wins gets bragging rights. It's West Side versus North Side, which I live on the North Side, so I'm kind of like, yeah. yeah. Come on, come on, North Side. So the winners get bragging rights for a year, and the losers have to fulfill one day of volunteer labor on a project of the winnings team choosing. Awesome. So West Siders have planted a total of 15 trees on North Side in the last three years, all because we rock. And uh, the players must gather 50, at least fifty dollars in donations, and re in return they receive a free team T-shirt from Zoo City Apparel. So it's nice, you know, they're like giving back to community as well, having a bit of fun, healthy competition. That sounds great. Um, yeah, so the, go check it out, go watch. If you want to get involved, um, I'm sure you'd be able to. They might already have their teams There's picked There's a out. lot of softball leagues in Missoula. Yeah. And it only gets bigger with the college kids. Yeah, I bet they already have their teams picked out. So just go check it out. It'll be at the Northside Park on Warden Avenue tomorrow at 530. If you, you know, if you feel safe going on the north side. Shut up. It's not even, <laughs> it's not even dangerous. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> but I do carry around a taser. Uh, but there's a beginning <laughs> relief printing class at 6 p.m. at the Z-Town Arts Community Center tomorrow. It's a five-week class that is going to help you further your discovery into relief printing. So um, then you'll learn how to prepare, prepare carbon printer relief block. They have materials and tool, tools that'll be um, available. And they'll teach you like the history of the craft and how to use everything and yeah. And so um, it'll be no experiences necessary. It's at the ZAC, $85 for members or $95 for non-members. And then there's a $20 lab fee. Hmm. Yeah, so if you're interested in that, go check it out. That should be really fun. Ooh, at the Good Food Store, there is hands-on pizza cooking class. 6.30 p.m. at $35 tomorrow. And so uh, Greg Reagan is going to come to... Sh he's a bigger big pizza chef. Um, yeah, Biga Pizza mm -hmm. sous chef for more than 10 years. And he is going to come and help you guys, like, teach you how to make pizza. Teach you how to make some dough and what to put on your pizzas and... Yeah, that's going to be good. Okay, so he's going to have, let's see, a basic dough kneading and tossing, Greg's, Greg's homemade red sauce, Biga's favorite, Biga's famous uh, maple pochote chipotle sauce, Mama Reagan's turkey ricotta meatball, and Greg's dessert pizza. Jeez. I know, that sounds so good. It's crazy. That sounds really crazy, yeah. But... If you can't get into that, there is an Indian cooking class, Kira Rice Pudding, at the Temple House. It's at 7 p.m. Temple House is at 9463 Upper Miller Creek Road, and you have to RSVP. But they'll be exploring Indian Kira, which is a rice pudding with spices and dried fruit, and they'll be using different different styles using butter, fruit juice, and golden syrup. So RSVP for the class is $15, and everyone gets to eat. And yeah. 9463 Upper Miller Creek Road, and it didn't have the number on it, I apologize. But if you go to MissoulaEvents.net, you can see everything that I'm talking about, and it'll have the number on there if you want, if you are interested in that. Oh, at the Roxy Theater, they're showing Weekend at Bernie's at 7 p.m. Um, I'm sure you guys all know what the Weekend at Bernie's is. These guys go to their boss's house for the weekend, but he gets murdered. But they still want to party there all weekend, and so they pretend like he's alive but the murderer is out to finish him off. Yeah, 
It's really 80s. It's really awesome. So 80s. It'll be at the Roxy at 7 p.m. tomorrow. Go check it out. Uh, there's Tango Night at the University of Montana at 7 p.m. tomorrow. It's a celebration of Latin American Heritage Month. Sigma Epsilon and Student Involvement Network invite you to a community building and social dance lesson. This is from, lessons are from 7 to 8, and then dancing is from 9 to 10, and the event ends right at 10. So you can't stay. But... Yeah, salsa the night away until 10. That sounds good. <laughs> there is an old-time square dance um, at the VFW tomorrow at 7.30 p.m. So it's just going to be an Appalachian-style old-time square dance lessons. No experience or partners needed. They'll have live music from the Tall Boys from Seattle and calling and instruction by Charmaine Slavin. So that sounds cool. If you're interested in that, go check it out. And my last event for tomorrow and for these past couple days is... Uh, Big dr- big brains trivia, 7.30 p.m. at the Holiday Inn um, in the park. And, yeah, that's it. Trivia, 7.30. I'm sure it's free. Yep. And whatever you win is probably going to be awesome. So those are the events for Wednesday and Thursday. <laughs> yeah. It sounds like it's going to be fun. It's got yep. a lot of stuff going on. A lot of on. stuff going on, Although for sure. Although there's not out to lunch or dinner in the park, you can still... Do a lot of trivia nights and yeah, um, trivia. tango lessons. Mm-hmm. Salsa and tango lessons are going to go up, for sure. Yeah, they're awesome. They always go up during the school year, for oh, sure. Oh, yeah. Well, I think that one's free, though. Mm-hmm. Pretty sure that salsa... A lot, of, a lot of them are free for the first time, and then yeah. at more advanced lessons cost... Mula. Oh, yeah. Well, at the downtown dance. I mean, how, you know how you can win easy money by doing our contest, the Do It in 72? Yeah. As you can see their post right there. You can win a $500 prize by um, making a movie w- within 72 hours. The when we um, You just have to show up here at MCAT, 500 North Higgins, 5 p.m. on um, that Monday. October 10th. On, in October. <laughs> on that Monday. <laughs> on that Monday, Friday, October 10th. And um, you, oh, you, or you can show up online because we will post the rules online as well, and then you can submit it to us via mcat.org. Yeah, so you can submit it via mcat.org. Yeah, or you can, can email it to us at mcat at mcat.org. But yeah, but you, you'll hear the rules if you a lot sooner if you come here at 5 p.m. on that Friday, October 10th, and you only have 72 hours to create complete your film. Okay. All right. Nice. Yeah. Well, up next we've got Hallmark, Hallmark or Bullmark. Bullmark. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so can I have some like intense music? Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, is everybody ready? Labor Day has come, and for Charles Wilson, it couldn't have come soon enough. With two end, two dead end jobs and no prospects on life or love, Charles has the chance to take a good look at his life. Charles takes up the challenge to finish an old bucket list before the three-day weekend is up. He always wanted to be a rock star, so he performed at an open mic night. Unbeknown to Charles, Lisa Vogue, a high-end entrepreneur that has set her eyes on Charles. She proposes he perform at her family's lodge for their annual Labor Day celebration. Charles falls in love with this man-eater, but when Lisa develops real feelings for Charles, things get complicated. Will Lisa be able to keep things under control, or will this man-eater be devoured by love? So, guys, and and the movie's called In Love with Labor Day. <laughs> so what do you guys think? Do you think this is a completely real movie, or did you think I completely I made a sense? I'm going to myself. I'm going to say it's not real. I got stumped last time. <laughs> I know, I'm going to say it's not real either. Okay, you, you guys are right. It's not real. Yeah, bull mark. <laughs> that was good, though. <laughs> Charles falls in love with this man eater. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you guys ready for the next one? Yeah. Let's do it. All right. Go ahead. <sighs> <laughs> Buddy and photographer Chloe comes from, from a family of failed romances. At a local flea market, she stumbles upon an old photo album. In the picture, the ideal romance of a happy couple. Unable to find her own true love, she sets out to find the couple in that album and prove that true love exists. Along the way, she meets Gabe, a mysterious but charming bartender, <laughs> who seizes the opportunity to join Chloe's mission and soon finds himself falling in love with her. As soon as the search continues, <sighs> Chloe begins taking an interest in Gabe as well, but, but won't let these feelings distract her from her mission to find this couple. Will Chloe quit making excuses for herself and family history t- and pursue love with Gabe. With Gabe. <laughs> um, yes. 
<laughs> and, the, and the movie is called The Memory Book. She sounds crazy. <laughs> is this, um, I'm going to start with, I actually going to start with, um, with Noelle. I don't know. Asa. This is hard. Like, she sounds nuts. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say this is a hallmark because Chloe is crazy <laughs> enough to be a hallmark. Oh, uh, what do you think, Asa? Yeah, I'll agree with her. Yeah, it is a real hallmark. Yeah. Movie. She finds some, she finds some photo album with a couple in it. I'm going to find them. <laughs> Why? What does she do? <laughs> what about her job? <laughs> I think she, I don't know. <laughs> what about her job? Like, she's not, okay, she's not in school. That's good. She's a she's budding, a budding photog- photographer. So yeah, okay. She, she, she works as a photographer. Yeah, but she, like, how is she, she paying, getting paid? I guess finding this new couple and getting a new picture of them might be might doing, be like, a her, story or, yeah. or an article in a magazine She'll or something. make enough money for her rent. Perfect. But well, that's she as much as just I know. probably just lives at home. Yeah. She doesn't like... She lives with her parents already, still. Yeah. Well, you know, good, re- good excuse to get it out of the house, but... Um, <laughs> I want to talk a little bit about uh, where you can find our information and learn more about Wake Up Missoula and by going to our Facebook page. So, boom. Here's our Facebook page. You, you, it's easy to log on. Just go to Facebook and type in Wake Up Missoula. Or you can go to Twitter, and we are at at sign Wake Up Missoula. And you can find us on Twitter, Facebook. We're on YouTube as the same thing as well. So you can find all the videos that we've done in the past. We have over 70 episodes of Wake Up Missoula. Yeah, we do. We've been on since March. We've been on since March. Beginning of March, yeah. Yep. So... So let um, Asaf play us out. So Asaf, by all means, go ahead. That's great.